either they hard win their matchup yeah. and they have a great time yeah. and they look broken and they're super <laughs> yeah. on the play again, or they get absolutely rocked. And there's very little middle ground half the time. Unless you are insanely skilled, and you're able to change that ladder more towards the former. Now I'm definitely capable of that, but yeah. another Terry. And his opponent right here, Shu, yeah, man. Kaloran, I have to say, T3 throwing us for a loop. He said he was going to go by Marley Mega Man. He had made no mention of the Terry, but the Terry is out to play. We got DLC on the field, too. Banjo, uh, not one that I've seen too frequently since the release. I mean, week one, it was like everyone's uh, flavor of the week. But yeah, it feels like people have been waiting over a decade for Dan to play <laughs> two and a half weeks. Yeah. Like, he's just kind of <laughs> disappeared. Half zoner, <laughs> half bruiser. Side B, by the way. I feel like Banjo could have a good time in this matchup. So he's going to want to be a bit more conservative on these resources, I feel. For sure. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a debate, like, if you want to be conservative with the... Uh, what's that called? Like, the Wonder Wing? Wonder, yeah. yeah, with the Wonder Wing or not, because... You only get five of them, and it resets when you lose the stock. So it's, some would say it's in your best benefit to just use them all before you lose your stock. That's fair. I feel like if you're at kill percentage, which you definitely is right now yeah. against Terry, throw him out. You may as well not leave him on the table. Spot dodge, dodge for good with the upside, no power dodge. Follow oh, up, but there it is. That's a true combo right there. It's so devastating, and it actually kills far earlier than we just saw it do. Nice, and F tilt into the power geezer. I think he wanted the uh, he wanted the Buster Wolf. Yeah. I believe so. Dom showing he's not afraid to go for the go. There's the down throw. Uh -huh. Up tilt. Uh, you know, remix. Two times a charm. Yeah. yeah. So that's like a bit of a mix up. It, Banjo's down throw, it does bury, but it, it has a very, very low mash threshold. Right. You can pretty much mash it out of it immediately. Uh, you just kind of have to guess, like, what's your opponent going to do? In that case, uh, T3, he didn't mash out at first, but he mashed out afterwards, and Shrew just kept mashing yeah, that up tilt. I've definitely seen up tilt become yeah. quite the staple, like, 130. Out of Dom, Dom going his second stock. He's going to have to wait a little bit before he breaks up the power guys right in. He's doing a really good job of getting around these grenades. I saw his power dunk earlier on, like, just short of getting the game. Himself an advantage. Shoot, looking for the grab. Gets a knuckle to the face. Uh-oh. Nice. Yeah, that's a good look at the A6. Every that was time. a down smash, right? I think so. Yeah. Give me the old electric boogaloo. Because it, it, like, down smash and forward smash are almost the same, except one hits, like, a little lower. Yeah, the down smash is very reminiscent of the fact that he comes from a fighting game. Yeah, exactly. Is. Absolutely. I don't think any, like, there's not too many moves in, like, traditional fighting games that just uh, hit, no on, hit on both sides. Like, right. yeah, yeah. There's no knee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She drops in forward air, gets out of the jam. Oh, up. Oh, got some sauce. Uh, Mario, is that you? Zero to ten? Character disguise. Keep in mind, that burn up the transition isn't always true. It seldom is, in fact. So, it's a play there by Shu to get out of that. Power guys, there is available. Ooh. I, was, I thought it was going to get ripped right there off that grenade bounce. Right. Ooh. He got him down throw right here. He just does the same exact thing. This time, T3 able to survive. Ooh. Are you okay? Ooh. You don't seem okay. The answer is no. Shoe is very much not okay. He's going to have to hold that two stock for game number one. Bust the wolf, securing the victory there for T3 Dom. Banjo's like, G oh no. <laughs> Girl, oh wait. Go up. <laughs> On to game two. A, a huge disparity from what we've seen from Crudge in the first match to Dom's Terry is when Go is on. It's an actual green light. Like, he is going for these Buster Wolves. Oh, yeah. Two of the stocks, one off Power Guys, finishes it off with, with Buster Wolf there. He's ready to rip him. He's looking for it. Yeah. One thing I would like to see a little bit more from Shu is that he's playing a more aggressive gameplay. Um, and he does have that, like, brawler, like, half brawler archetype, as you mentioned. However, he does have incredible projectiles and really, really great zoning. So it is in your best benefit. Like I would say it's optimal to actually play a zoning style, especially against Terry, 
who doesn't have many tools to deal against projectiles. I, I'm 100% in agreement because two big weaknesses Terry has, getting back on stage, dealing with zoners. Mm -hmm. And even if, you know, you only commit to that every now and again, that's an extra 20, 25% on a stock. That's the difference between one of these down throws converting into a kill or not. She definitely needs to open up that aspect of this play, especially when goes available. As it is right now, T3 Dom. Trying to make some use out of it. He gets a down tilt into the burn knuckle. Not going to be enough to KO from across the stage. Ouch. That oh. will, though. Wonder Wing. That's it. You know, you had a combo. That was nice. I'm just going to press side B. I mean, you have next to nothing to lose. You at 157%. You have armored side B available. It's like, all right, worst case that happens is I die. Otherwise, I get to stop. Now we're down to two of these. Playing Smash 4. There's a forward tilt. Shoot. Helping himself to get a damage state. Dom is back on them. Shielding these grenades. He's, he's, got a, he's got his mind on it. Yeah, absolutely. And T3 Dumb has done a really good job of uh, dealing with this projectiles. Oh my god, that was a neat little combo right there. Uh oh. And that's not a good look. Shu, unfortunately, self destructing on stock number two. T3 Dom only at 22%. He is sitting pretty right now. Yeah, that, that, that might be the, the nail in the coffin here because this game has, the overall set is largely going back and forth. Dom definitely showing that he knows how to capitalize on his opportunities, but a random SD like that against a player of the caliber of Dom, that's tough to come back from. Absolutely. Uh, Dom is not, he's not a ranked player, but he uh, he is, yeah, exactly. Yet yeah, is the keyword. <laughs> he has definitely taken a lot of names. Actually, one of his biggest wins was New Days at um, Shine. You know, our brother, our, our one, Thunder one brother. Of ours, one of ours. Uh, how'd he do him like that? That's my quarterback, man. That's my team. Oh, oh no! I'm so, did he not have jumps? Because Banjo does have multiple jumps. He has three. He does have that ability to mix up his recovery really well. He can go hot. He can he can jump out of up B. Right. And then he can, you know, side B, up B. Like, there's a lot you can do. But unfortunately, Shu 